Okay. Ready for this? Yeah. Core computer science, chapter two. Yes. Computer organizations, binary representation. From the top, bits and bytes. I'll give you that. Okay. Good. Binary representation. Um, binary representation is known as, let's get this on, a two bit number system. Why? I mean, it says a bit that's or No, 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 no. Two bit number system. It's only got zeros. Oh, yeah, yeah. and ones. Yeah, the bit that you're referring to. If I take this little diagram here, I take the grid that we use it. Okay, and we say, and I do an eight bit register. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight bits. This is a bit. Yeah, one bit. Yeah, that's a bit. Now, we've also got, if we think about this as like Goldilocks of the three beds, or baby shark, yeah? But right. baby shark, one bit. Mummy shark comes in, a little bit bigger mummy shark, and she takes four of the bits. Yeah. So mummy sharks is what they call a nibble. Yeah. Oh, daddy shark comes along. Yeah. And he eats the entirety. Yeah. He eats all of it. And this is what's known as a, with a Y, a bite. Okay. So eight bits is a bite. So. That is basically, the, in terms of the register, in terms of what we're going to be doing, we're going to be working, most of the answers that you're going to answer in terms of binary representation will be in the form of an 8-bit register. Why? Because if we do another 8-bit register down here, and I go 1, times it by 2, times it by 2, times it by 2, or if we're going to be right about it, 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, 2 to the 3. Yeah, we've created a nibble there. Yeah. yeah. But then we times it by 2 again. So 2 to the 4 would be 16, 32, 64, 128. Yeah. Would be our number system. Now we can use this as a counting tool, as our counting tool. A little bit like if we've got another number system. Any ideas? Any other number systems? Uh, there's a decimal number system. The decimal number system, which works in what? Uh, to base 10. Base 10, good. So um, base 10 is known as the decimal, decimal number system. or denary. Okay. Now the base 10 number system works 1, 10 to the 0, yeah, times it by 10, times it by 10, times it by 10, yeah, times it by 10. So if I was to grid this, And I was to write a number inside, okay. and I was to go three, six, two, nine, five. I could say, and do you just think this is babyish? But I've got five lots of ones, I've got nine lots of tens, two lots of one hundreds, six lots of a thousands, three lots of ten thousands. Yeah, ten thousand. So thirty-six thousand two hundred ninety-five. As I would say it, but. We're breaking it into its component parts. Three ten thousands plus six one thousands plus two one hundreds plus nine tens plus five units. Okay? Beautiful. So, I'm going to do the same with this. Okay? And 
this is my number system here. Now, what I can do, I can fill this with numbers, but only zeros and ones. Yeah, so I've got a number recorded in an 8 bit register. A number. But I want to turn that into the Denary number system. Okay, I want to turn it into a decimal number. I want to know what this value represents in terms of denary, in terms of decimal. So all I'll do simply is go 128, I've got one lot of that, I've got no 64s, no 32s, but I've got a 16, I've got no 8s, I've got 4 plus a 2 plus a 1. Mathematicians among you will tell me that that is 23 plus 28, 151. Okay, so that number is 151. Now what I can do, what I can do, so this is how I would work out, this is how I would turn a binary number into a decimal number. But, I'll rub this out without destroying the board, there we go, but that come up. So many wristbands on. I don't know when the screen goes dark and then light. Oh, things are happening. So if I want to, I can't do this number, this is far too big. I want to sort of keep a number within a the register. What do you think, based on what we've just done, what do you think the maximum number we could hold in terms of an AB band register? A number with uh, eight places. Yeah, we've got eight places. What's the maximum number? So can hold it It's all at once. That's going to be oh, nice beautiful, one. beautiful, beautiful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equals. I'll give you a clue. What's the next number here? 206. 206. 2. 2, 5, 6. 5, 6. Yeah. Now, to get 2, 5, 6, I would have a 1 in there, and all these would be zeros. Yeah? So what's this number? 2, 5, 6. No, what's this number? This is 256, yeah. yeah? 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. What's this number? Same as what's this? This is 99, yeah? This is one. We're not adding them together. <laughs> that number's there, nine lots of tens, nine lots of ones would make 99, yeah? yeah? One lot of 100, no tens and no ones would make 100. What's this? So this number here is. This number here is. 10 million. No, 100 million. No. No, it's 256. <laughs> One lot of 256. Where, this is, this is, forget this, this. One lot of 256, that means if I've converted 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 into denary, into base 10, I would get 256. What I want you to tell me is what's this number? Based on what you've just seen here, what's this number? One lot of that, one lot of that, one lot of that, one lot of that, one, 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 one. It must be one less than this. I mean, you're gonna add them all together. We're gonna add them all together, but we don't need to add them all together. We've got a quick formula. That number there is one less, like 99 is one less than 100, What's that number there? <laughs> take away one equals. Take away one. Oh, 255. Oh, yeah. 255. Okay. That was meant to be a quicker way. Okay. Always, if we've got lots of ones and we add to it, yeah, then. With the, like we've got here, the next number in the sequence. 
So, good. Good, good, good. Right, we're going to go back the other way now. So I'm going to give you a denary number. Yeah. And I want you to convert that into a binary number. I'm using my eight, eight register, so I can't go any bigger than 255. So I'm going to give you the number. Let's keep it simple. Let me give you, because now we've got a nine bit register lock, which we don't want. Okay? So we'll stick with the eight bit register. Boom. Let's have, a num let's have 150. Okay? 150. How would, what would 150 look like in terms of a binary number? Binary number? Yeah. In an eight bit register. What would 150 look like? Where would I start? Hmm. I mean, we definitely would have started the one. Yeah? Where? That one. I'll start at this end? No. Let's we'll start at this end. Let's start at this end. Yeah, let's start at this end. Yeah. yeah? How many 128s, or rather, let me rephrase that, does 128 go into 150? Yes. Good. Okay. How much is left? 22. 22. Does 64 go into 22? No. Does 32 go into 22? No. Does 16 go into 22? No. What's left? 6. Good. Does 8 go into 6? No. Does 4 go into 6? No. 6 minus 4 equals 2. Does 2 go into 2? Yep. Nothing left. Does one go into zero? Of course it does. So that would be my representation of the end of 150. Sticking with an 8 bit register, I'll come underneath for this one. Can you tell me, based on what you've just seen, can you tell me what the number uh, 48 would look like? 48 in an 8 bit register. It's going to be zero, zero. Zero, zero, good. Most people miss these out. We're in the register, so we've got to put them in. Uh, uh, zero, zero, one, one. One, one. And then that's zero. Beautiful. Nice and easy. So that's how we convert binary to denary and denary to binary. Yeah. Okay? Two to the zero, two to the one, two to the two, two to the three, two to the four, so on and so forth. Good. What about negative numbers? What about bigger numbers? Negative numbers. Negative numbers. We're jumping the gun. Um, that is for another video, but I will show you. I will show you that. So we'll stop this one. Is that still recording? If I let me let me end the video. So that's it for this one. Okay. We'll then move on to negative numbers. You ready? Are you ready? Yes. Fantastic. Please continue to ask questions, leave your comments, hit notifications, and please subscribe. And finally, if you wish to buy me a coffee, I'd be truly grateful. Please visit buymeacoffee.com forward slash learning zone. Thank you very much indeed. See you next time. Bye for now.